damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, You'd get out of here, too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had, it wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's... Just a thief wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. 
a hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Anyway... Well, it's been fun. See you around? Maybe. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Ash everywhere. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table.
I'll see a connection here. These weren't scattered by the same event. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arkham, but she knocked it aside. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. Butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. Alfred is paying for the things my family has done. I'm responsible for this. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual limits using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional-grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. 
Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Keep looking. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually, one of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Batman! I'm all right. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. 
with a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! I'm going inside. to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech's security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. 
Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. When he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You are tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. Systems offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went.
You're going to die! Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. Gordon's here! We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham! There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, Bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'm not gonna bring you someone just so you can murder him. <laughs> well then, the butler's death is on you. You're doing so much for one old man. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things! Those men deserved their day in court. Just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to kill. <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear them. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? 
Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came. You came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save me. No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family.
over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. I needed to make her talk. And I thought she would talk to Bruce Wayne. Uh, a good strategy. It was Bruce she wanted all along. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. 
You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. It's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe. Let Gordon know, Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did, so we can all move forward. You know, that can't be easy, but I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. If Batman isn't here, then it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. 
hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. No matter how much I want to, I can't change the past. Gotham's so-called golden age was built on corruption and lies. But that doesn't mean that going forward we can't do things differently. We have to do things differently. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country in keeping with the vision of its founders. Clear the area! Get that bastard to lock up! Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Lucy.